Okay, so this is Justin for the Sprint 1 uh, for game engines. <clears throat> so, um, so all of the uh, managers are working as singletons. Um, so here I've got, uh, well, I guess I'll go through it all, uh, including the, the dot .h's for them. Um, can have the model manager here, loading model, uh, the name of the key, um, or what it will be stored at. Um, just the name of the object and then the file location. I also did one for the um, pre-made models uh, so here I just called it sphere and then loaded the unit sphere um, and there's a constructor for that so that all works. Um, the and it, oh it's also got the defaults uh, for all of these. Um, the texture manager works a little bit just a tiny bit different because I was having some problems with it. Um, so it does the same thing where it, it loads it um, with the name of the object. Um, but then I had to do new uh, and then put it in here with the file name uh, for just for the texture because I was having some problems with the unload with it. Um, I did it exactly the same way as my, my model and my shaders but for some reason I was just being stupid um, and having lots of issues with it so um, I'll try and get that fixed if necessary. If this is good then I'm just leaving the new then let me know and I guess that'll be okay. Otherwise I'll go back and uh, get it to work with just the you know like this with the just the string input. Um, so for the shader it's the same thing as the model uh, load name and then the file location. Um, and then down here at the bottom I'm also uh, unloading the models, the textures, and the shaders, and these are just uh, still here from what was left in the demo. Um, so I'll go through uh, how I'm doing it. So I've actually got nodes that I'm storing in the hash table. <coughs> so each one of the nodes has two things: get the key and the type that it stores, um, and then a get for both of those, uh, and then the default constructor. Um, so it's pretty simple. Uh, just that's just all that's in the node. Not really much there. Um, the managers are, like I said, they're set up as singletons. Um, so you've got the the instance. Um, it's all uh, the constructors in the private. Um, also, it creates the hash table here, um, and it's just a pointer array basically uh, for the hash table. Um, like we talked about in class, it is set to 128, and I'll have to, uh, if, if it gets to 128, if I put in 128 textures, uh, it will crash. So um, I can either increase this to a higher number, but then I'm taking more space. Um, but I, I just figured we wouldn't be putting in 128 textures. But um, So like you said, that you know has issues, obviously, that I'll have to... Um, attempt to, to fix later. Um, so, but anyways, that's that's what's what's in here. Get the pointer instance. Um, I'll go to the, actually can you read these? Uh, go to the CPP. So, the it's got the get texture, uh, the load texture, um, the unload, and the load defaults. So the load defaults are just like manually inputting uh, the the same thing that was in the, the game CPP, it's just automated. Um, I guess I'll start up here. <clears throat> so, uh, the get texture, what it does is since it's inputting a string, it uh, assigns a number to the string. So it goes through the string, uh, at each point it gives it a value, then it uh, modulos the, val the, the value of the string um, to give it a number Less than or less than or equal to 128, um, and then with that hash, it places it in the um, in the hash table. Uh, so that's that's <laughs> that's really all it does. It it, it returns the the value uh, at that particular hash. Um, the same thing. It, the load texture is very similar. It's just placing it there instead of returning it. Uh, it it gets the, the key. Um, hashes it out and then it, it 
creates a new texture node at that location in the uh, table. So um, it's sim obviously similar to the get texture. I, I could have done the STL, um, but I honestly I kind of forgot how to do the hash table, so I wanted to look it up and kind of learn how to do it again. Um, so that's what that was. Uh, so the unload texture, it goes through the table, checks if it's uh, if there's something there. If there is, then it deletes it. Um, and then at the end of it, it terminates. And the terminate deletes the pointer instance and sets it to a null, null pointer. Um, so I could go through the other two. They're almost exactly the same. The only difference being, um, I think, yeah. So the only difference is that instead of passing in a uh, new object for the value, um, I pass in another string and then just create a new object inside of the load shader. So it's practically the same thing, but it uh, it it saved my butt when I was having problems with my unload. Um, so like I said, if if that is an issue, if if you say that that's an issue, I'll go back and try and fix that uh, for the next week. Um, so. Other than that, it's pretty much exactly the same, all three of the uh, managers. Um, so I think, oh, one last thing, I should show that the file structure is proper in the assets folder. So the assets folder has the three folders, all the models are in there, all the shaders are in there, and all the textures are in there. So uh, I think that should be good to go. Uh, thanks for watching.